Matthew was the oldest child and absolute awesome brother. Growing up, we all had to challenge one another to try and get the love that we wanted. And Matthew, well, he was just a little shit like the rest of us. I remember my brother when we were growing up in Hastings and um, we used to go out, oh, Matthew was a little shit, and we used to go out and play knock on the window and scare kids in the in the uh, in the street the vampire court and then <laughs> when we're getting babysit he used to go and flicker the lights and move <laughs> all the fuses and oh he was a shithead and that was the thing that's the type of kids we were and Matthew was might have been a shithead but he was a good kid and he's done a lot that he doesn't realise he's actually helped a lot of people in life. I was one of them. But I want to remember the good things about my brother and the funny things. Like getting thrown in the back of the Divi van in Hastings and oh that was fun, 11 kids or something like that. The littles and all that all in the back of the Divi van. <laughs> that was fun but a bit scary. <laughs> yeah, and then you know driving the car up and down the driveway and things like that, you know, we had some, we had good times, and then we had some brother type times of bashing one another or picking on one another, but that's what came with being a brother, isn't it, brother and sister, you just, you fight each other, you still love each other, and that's what's proven with this, with Matt's passing, is we all loved him, even though we all had our different things in life to do, and we didn't talk or whatever it was. We all love each other. And I love my brother. And that's why I'm doing this video, because it's just, he needs to know that, and he does know that he's loved. And he always will be. So, Matt, this video is for you, buddy. And I just believe, and I'm gonna say a little prayer, I just believe that you made your peace with God and I know where you are. You are very much in a good place. So, just, yeah, I just remember that as a child. But I'll tell you one thing I do remember. We're all living, and a lot of people know our past, and it's going to come up with the uh, where we live and stuff. But we're living on the Murray River at Cobham. And, you know, back then, if the Eshays were around, you know, the Eshays, those things were around. Matthew, the ball went out on the river, and we played the dogs, and we're like, oh, no, and, you know, the Murray River flew, froze, flows pretty far. And um, anyway, Matt was a good swimmer, and back in Cobram, he was actually in the diving team. I think it was Cobram, yes, Cobram. And um, Matt swam out in the middle of the river, grabbed the tennis ball, come back, got on the on the sand, was walking up, and it's like, oh yeah, you know, with a problem at, but it's like more, he shame, man, got the ball. <laughs> so he's a bloody good swimmer. He was a very good swimmer, and he'd done some very good things, some funny things too. There's a lot of funny things he did. A lot of voices. He loved doing the Yoda voice. Mm, the force of you, is it? And you know, he, he, it's just so many things you can remember. And I don't. I, right now, I, my mind's racing at the point where I try and remember everything, and it's just hard. Um, it's hard to remember all the things we've gone through and done, and all the funny things. But I think the biggest thing was, as brothers, we used to run them up. He was the oldest, so I was the youngest. Out vampire court and just and not just vampire court we did it um in tasmania we did it everywhere we used to run everywhere we we're little shits you know that's why, <laughs> that's why mum called us all the rebels you see we're just little rebels just run around like crazy so but yeah i just i just thought i'll share that little funny thing about matt and as a kid and um just yeah i'd like to share that but there's some photos that i have here that, as an adult and um, I'll come back and I'll say something else. Thank you. Matt, as an older kid, when he got into high school, he actually got into trains and Matt loved trains. And I remember another good thing once, and she he wasn't going to let me at the front of the train, but he's like, oh, man, the salad, and I'm just like, me, 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 and he's just like, oh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, because we had a bit of an argument, but I got on the front of the train, and in the end, we, we both enjoyed it, and 
he was a lovely train. So we rode the train from Berwick to Nary Warren one day, and that was pretty cool. And anyway, Matt was at the station, and we went and seen him at work on, um, so I got stuff on my news. Went and seen him at work at uh, Caulfield Station with, with Mum. Anyway, he's showing off a bit. <laughs> he said, "Oh, train on platform two is about is leaving right now. Leave right now." Da, da, da. <laughs> and the guy turned around and said, "The train's not leaving in ten minutes, mate." Oh, <laughs> he's like trying to <laughs> make it. He's pretty good at his job, trying to impress Mum. And yeah, no, nah, he really loved his trains. And I remember I went on trains with him a lot. And one of them was we're coming back from Geelong, and along there they get the train tracks fixed that much. So 130 k's an hour. And I'm sitting at the back of, on the window at the back of the car. And he's there and next to me, I was like, oh, is that how you're 30? He goes, yeah, yeah. And next minute we see this rabbit and we're like, <laughs> the rabbit's going, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that bastard had a headache. <laughs> and <laughs> man, we couldn't stop laughing. Oh, and I'd <clears throat> yeah, plenty of train stories, but. We had a, we and Matt worked together and Matt got me into removals and I, I, I tell you now, I don't regret that. I did 22 years of removals and um, yeah, I, I absolutely loved it and we both worked for Emilio, Emilio's now passed away and I, I tell you, it was, it was awesome, you know, working with my brother just to see how much of a magician he is, like Tetris style and that's how I learned, you know, with the removals and I've taken on so much from my brother that taught me even though getting in removals is a shit game, but he taught me about removals, and I tell you, it's one of those things that I'm grateful he did, you know, and it's just been absolutely awesome. So, but, um, was, there's another thing I was gonna talk about, um, oh, yeah, I can't remember it now. It's some, it's some funny stuff, but I'm just gonna talk a little bit about Matt himself now, about where he went and, um, you know, what he did with his life and stuff like that. So when he when he was uh, left home, pretty much he, I remember he was at Nana's and then he left home. And then um, after he left home, he met a guy called Rob and Rod or Rob, and um, he moved over to WA and he was working over there for a while. I remember that, and he was living over there. He's doing removals, and then he came back from over there and came back to the coast. Um, met Yelena who he had four kids with and we all know one of his kids passed away and I believe he's in heaven with that child now Tyler and um, so he had four kids with her and he had his business going he's doing quite well things were very well it's just as you know Matt was sick a lot of his life he had issues and whatnot and he had his struggles but he, he really did try and just keep going, 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 but unfortunately, we you know, we know how he passed and it's not nice, but he's in a better place now. He's doing way better, you know. So, Matt, just so you know, we, we do, we all love you, man, and all of us have a story to tell you, a funny story, a funny memory, something funny. Like, there's so much we could talk about, but my head's exploding from just trying to think of the good, good, good things. But I'll let others say their best parts, you know. But as your brother, I do care about you. And I was coming home yesterday on the plane, and Mum told me, you know, your cremation's coming up, and I've been praying and praying. And, you know, I'm a Christian man. I believe in raising from the dead, but I've been praying. And I was in tears on the plane, and I was on, I'm in tears now, you know. But I have my little thing with you, buddy. And as I said to God, I hand him, I hand you to God now. And you're out of pain and you've got no more sickness. And you can move on, you can be happy. And I'm sort of a bit jealous because I'm sort of a bit jealous because I know Tyler's been up in heaven that long and he's been eating strawberries every day and not having to have to work and have a worry in the world. And you're the same, you know. You don't have that problem anymore. You can just sit back, relax and do what you want, buddy you got no more pain so the realization for you came yesterday when I was on that plane coming back and I said that's it I was up near heaven and yeah I could really it did it came it, the realization came and and I said to God and I handed you to God and I'm gonna pray now and so the rest of the family can have that that healing and loveliness you know in this video about just 
be at ease with you knowing that you're in a good place. Okay, so I did. Alright, so I'm gonna pray now. I'm just, Heavenly Father, I lift up my family to you, and I know that Matt has made peace with you. I feel that in my heart, and I just I lift up all my family members, my sisters, my mother, my nana, my aunties and uncles, my cousins, and anyone else that know Matt. That knew Matt. I just lift them all up to you, and just pray that you just come and take away that sorrow and that emptiness that is in their hearts right now, because Matthew's now with you and I just want them to see that Matt's okay and that you to show them that you love them and the way you love Matt and that you know and just show them that Matt is okay same as what you show me so I lift them all up and, and I'm just praying because I know everyone else will be saying this give Matt a message to say that we love him that's it so Matt you're an awesome you're my brother and uh we're going to leave you be now and leave you in heaven and we'll see you again. Because this isn't goodbye. This is just see you soon. Okay? Love you, buddy. So in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you, man. Love you, bro.